I do this? How did I get into this? What's up? I'm here in Vegas. It is as tight as they said it's going to be. That is my neighbor literally right beside me uh, and same on the other side. I get here and there's a bigger spot and I'm here with Jimmy and Lisa from Finest Camping and there's a bigger spot over by them. So, but there's a wall that's really close on the other side. It took me like four or five tries. I got in first try, but it wasn't quite angled the way I wanted to. So after like four or five attempts to get the, the right angle, finally made it. No sooner were we happy with the positioning of the RV, the the ranger comes running up and he's like, this is an annual site, you can't be here. We just asked if we could be here and you guys said it was fine. Well, I'm sorry, no, it's a, who'd you talk to? And we went through that. So back to the original site to where, <laughs> where we are now, which is the biggest site. And there's literally five feet of space between uh, my slide and my neighbor's slide. But the important part is we're here. We're gonna have a good time in Vegas. Uh, we want to do a few things. I can't wait to show you guys what we wanna do around uh, around Vegas and you know just have a little bit of fun and then it's off to Reno and we got some we got some stuff in store for you when we get up to Reno just hang in with us and uh, let's get this video started What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. Today is Monday and today is the day that Cindy and the kids come back. Really excited about that. I got to pick them up at the airport at 1030 tonight. Um, so they've had a long, they're having a long day of traveling, but it's going to be pretty awesome. I can't wait to get them back. I know the dogs are, will be excited for them to be back too. We are going to do that and then we're going to go have some fun this week. Okay, now that Cindy and the kids are back, we are going to go on our first adventure here in Vegas. Uh, we're gonna be doing two things hopefully today. One is going to the chocolate factory, and then for dinner, we're gonna try to go to the sugar factory. If you've never been to the sugar factory, you're in for a surprise because yes, it's very expensive, uh, like $20 for a milkshake expensive. Like the milkshakes that they have are so awesome. The food that they have was great last time we went. If you're into drinks, uh, they got the big cauldrons, like with the dry ice, the, like the steam's just coming off, and it's just a really cool experience. Uh, we are planning on doing that today. Jimmy and Lisa from Finest Camping, big shout out to those guys that are, that are uh, you know, our friends, and we're hanging out with them out here in Vegas. So they're gonna be coming along with us, and hopefully we're gonna have some fun. If I could get them out of the camper so we can go. All right, we're here at the chocolate factory. Ethel M Chocolates. Mask required indoors. We're here with Jimmy and Lisa. We're here. We're here. Ethel M. Chocolates. They have been around, this is the flagship store and it's been around since uh, 1981. Oh wow. They got and some good chocolates too. The, they get a sample when you first go in. The mother of the owner, of the owner um, loved cactuses, so that's why the cactus right. garden is here. I see it. They are still requiring masks, so if you don't bring one, they'll give you one when you walk in. That's because it's food. Yeah. but You're breathing on everybody else's Even food. though the requirements have lifted, they're still yeah. choosing to 
Which is fine. We respect whatever that business yeah. is choosing to do. They said it was okay for us to record. However, we came right before closing. So all, the, the, cho chocolates. all the chocolates were already done. So they were in the process of cleaning everything. So we'll have to try to come back to get some footage yeah. of the actual making process. Oh. Um, but we did get some yummy stuff. And we're, now we're just walking around the cactus garden. Well, so if you, if you want to come and kill an hour or so, mm -hmm. good, good time. It's free. Like, yep. It doesn't cost anything to come. And we have an appointment or a reservation at the Sugar Factory for 7 p.m. Yep, so we're just killing time between now and then. Yep. I will say that the chocolates are expensive. Yeah. But they're delicious. 45 bucks for ours. And if any of you like to support local places and local um, like farmers markets and stuff, you, we always end up spending more buying local and organic than we do when we buy stuff in bulk. Yep. So, you know, it's expected. All right, let's go check out some cacti. Some cactuses. I like them. Cactus scissors. The Eve's, Eve's needle has been my favorite so far. These are pretty though. We just got to downtown Vegas. Look at this, look at this sunset behind us. It's making the clouds all purple. I don't even think you can see them. Let's see, let's Maybe see if we can get you up. There Ooh, you go. That's yeah. pretty. All right, back to us. We are going to Sugar Factory for dinner. And we just got here. And it's a three tenths of a mile walk. Yeah, so we found a parking lot. So Lisa found, we're with Lisa and Jimmy and Michaela, and they found a parking lot that you just paid to park. Uh, instead of going into the parking garages with the valets and stuff where it's more expensive. Yeah. Um, so, not bad. So, you guys are getting ready to experience Sugar Factory. Yes. Now, I mean... You've never been. Um, we got just like milkshakes and stuff last time. This time we're going for dinner. Going for dinner. They have a 24 karat burger that's $150. It's a burger and fry and shake. 24 What does 24 carats taste like? I, I don't like carrots, so that... <laughs> <laughs> Dad joke. Anyways, we're gonna show you some of the Vegas Strip and let's go get some dinner. <laughs> we just finished our dinner at the Sugar Factory. The place is beautiful. The food was great. Yes. The drink was awesome. I actually got a non-alcoholic goblet. And I got Oreo cookie milkshake, which of course is non-alcoholic. If you're in Vegas, highly recommend. If you wanna splurge on like a dinner, it is a, a fun, family adventure and, you know. and they also have um walls with the lights on it yeah, and the flowers um, and, and stuff the flowers like for you to take like selfies a couple tips when you're visiting vegas look for free stuff to do so now that we're done with dinner we're going to actually go uh just walk around some hotels all of them are so cool they offer different experiences okay. now i think we're walking over to bellagio yes and we're going to check out the water show of course you got it you can't come to vegas and not see the, 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 the water fountains. show and i love the botanical gardens there all right so let's uh let's head over to the bellagio and uh check out the fountains So what do you think? I think the Bellagio is my favorite hotel. How come? Well, so they have the gardens inside, they have the fountain outside, and it's just beautiful walks through. Yeah, and you got the Eiffel Tower right behind us too. Yeah, so one of the workers at the valet, Lisa asked them what's the quickest way to get to the fountain. He said, well, if you wanna go street side, there's a different way to go, but 
if you want to see the um, the good side of the fountains, go around this little pathway and see it with the Eiffel Tower as your backdrop. Yeah, so that was the first time we did that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That was awesome. Two Kayla's times. with us. Nick's not feeling well, so he stayed home, but... What do you think? It's very pretty. Yeah, like, you said you feel like you're underdressed up? Yes, especially going through Oh yeah, everybody's, everybody's so dressed up. Yeah, everybody in the Bellagio, all the shops in the Bellagio are expensive. So. Yeah. And I'm wearing a 2XL yeah. jacket. <laughs> That's she's all right. Wearing, she's wearing a snap, the snap pad yeah. jacket. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, uh, having a great time. Now the wind change is coming at us again. Sorry. But. All right, well, I think that's about it for tonight, right? We have we have some more things in store for Vegas, so don't don't be worried. We got plenty more activities that we're gonna try to do uh, while we're here. So you guys yeah, hang in there. Hopefully Nick's feeling better tomorrow, so yes. he can come out and enjoy it. So I just got we got a word zip line. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try. We yeah. gotta reserve it. Yeah. So we don't know if we can get a reservation this week. We're gonna try. We, uh, we found something else to do here in Vegas that is free admission. All right, so we're at the Pinball Hall of Fame. This is a new building. It is free admission. It's a quarter for any machine. Made before 1990. 1990. And the 1990 to present is? 50 cents. 50 cents. Okay, I have to admit, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's just, it's like an arcade, but it's all these old pinball machines. I think, I think you would absolutely love it. And there's no admission, like we said. Uh, one correction, some of the, old, the older ones are 25 cents. Uh, if they're not lit up, you can't play them or they don't take money. But some of the newer ones are more expensive than 50 cents. Some were 75 and we've even played some that are a dollar. They also have regular games here, like arcade games, not just pinball, but if you want to take a kid somewhere or you just want to have a good nostalgic like time out come here like this this stuff is so cool uh, and and you will have a good time because it's i mean it's just like who doesn't like these old like older style games and one more thing to add to the list while you're in vegas come to the pinball hall of fame it is located right down by the fabulous las vegas sign uh, so if you have plans to take pictures for that, the new building is like, literally you can see the sign from the parking lot. So if you're planning on taking pictures with the sign, plan on coming here. What you think? I loved it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I've always liked arcades anyways, and for this one to have all that old school stuff in it, it's yeah. amazing. It, it was pretty cool. So I gotta admit, it was pretty cool. So we, we were in there for about two hours. Yeah. And we only spent 20 bucks. Yeah, so like if you want to come and kill some time and have fun, a little nostalgia. Yeah, they have over like, they have over like 60 um, pinball That's machines, but then there's other stuff too. We played air hockey, we played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, and the kids loved it. Yeah. Did you guys like it? Yes. They liked it. I don't know if you Even though they're that, not on they camera. Yeah. <laughs> they liked it. They're still taking pictures. But yeah, if you are in Vegas and you're looking for something kind of cheap, because it's not cheap to Do be anything here. else, yeah. If you're looking for something cheap uh, and a good time, Pinball yeah. Hall of Fame. Now we'll say their website says that the games are from like 25 cent to 50 cent. A lot of them are a dollar. Um, 75, and 75 dollar, yeah. 75 cent dollars. Um, but none of them are more than that. Right. So. Yeah. So you Except can, for the ones that eat your coins. Anyways, but all yeah. right. So we had a good time. More to come on Vegas. Just another thing to do while we're here. Be deceived those mountains are not small no yeah all right so where are we 
We are at the Red Rock Canyon National Reserve. Yes. And we wanted to do something that was just something other than like the Vegas Strip. Right. Because everybody comes to Vegas to see Vegas, but there's so much to do on the outside. Yeah. Something other than gambling. and Which we have not done. Really expensive restaurants. <laughs> Which we have done. <laughs> <laughs> and so we came to Red Rock Canyon. We have learned a few things already. Yes, one, over two million people visit it a year, so it is crowded. It's busy. And uh, because, number two- Because it's crowded. Right, number two, uh, you have to have reservations just to go to the visitor center, but it's also, the visitor center includes a 13 mile scenic loop that can take hours because people want to stop and look and stuff yeah, like that. So they said that if you want to do the scenic drive and be able to stop and take photos and video and everything else, the plan for eight hours. That's a, long, that's a long that's a long drive long drive and we did not budget that much time out to come today. nor did we make reservations so here we are at the scenic overlook on the side <laughs> of the road now i will say that with reservations you just go to reservation.gov like you do for everything else with the national park system if you have a park pass already the american beautiful pass or the senior pass or military pass whatever you can actually do that online as well so don't be fooled you don't actually have to pay if you have one of those passes yep. just right before checkout you have to key in your pass information unless you have like a login already right. created for it and then it already knows that you have a pass they had availability for one o'clock today yes what so we don't know where we're going to be at one o'clock we're just yeah. playing this by ear we're winging it we're having a good day this is our last day here in the vegas area yeah so we're just we're jumping around seeing a bunch of different things today yeah um and then later tonight we have something special for harold and the kids we have our reservations they did have like 65 spots available at one and then like 200 spots available for like four o'clock tonight. So, so you can get reservations, yeah, it's so not impossible. We're gonna head on down the street and see what else we can find for you guys since we don't have reservations. We uh, we found a trail that we're just kind of walking up to the to the mountain. So the trail actually goes around it. Yeah, it's like five and a half miles long. If you do, Moderate. If you do the whole loop, it's five and a half miles. We found it on all trails. It is called- South Oak Creek. South Oak Creek. So, it, and like she said, it is on all trails. Yes, and so people sometimes just go to the one direction and turn around and come back. They'll do the loop without going to the back area because there's actually a, another section of the trail a little bit farther back where there's a creek or a waterfall. I'm just amazed by this landscape. I can't just like, I'm in awe. You can't get enough of it. No, every, every everywhere I look, I'm just in awe. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's really quiet out here too. Yes, so they said these trails can get really popular. Um, so like at the entry, the parking lot has probably what, 30 cars out there. Yep. But then you come out on the trail and you'll run into a person here or there. Yeah, there's a lot of different options in different different directions. Uh, pets are allowed too. In some areas, they, it says pets are allowed off leash. Off leash. You, you wanna watch them out. Like obviously it's the desert. There's things out here that are not friendly. What we will say is that it's not a hard trail, but the rocks are loose and there's a lot of them. Yeah, so it's like walking on a riverbed without the water. Yeah. And you know, your feet shuffle um, the whole time. So if you come, wear good boots. Um, Maybe something has some ankle support. Right, like high top tennis shoes or even high top boots. Yeah. Um, so something that has tread and something that supports your ankles. So I, I think we're just gonna go a little bit further, try to get to the base of the mountain. We're not gonna do the whole trail. And then we're gonna roll back and go grab some lunch and probably head back to the house for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause we gotta get the kids. And we gotta get ready to leave tomorrow. Oh yeah. So, good. We still gotta do that we because we're gonna be out late with tonight. the zip line. So we gotta we need to go ahead and knock some stuff out so that we can leave early in the morning. So let's go hiking. Okay, we're here on Fremont Street. I had to find a little like corner because yeah, it's quiet because music everywhere is in, so loud. We came in like the souvenir store where there's yep. shirts and magnets and cups and, yeah. and stuff. We're getting ready to go on the zip line. Three of us at least, not 
this one. Jimmy and Lisa's at the other end. They're gonna record, try to record them coming off. Yep, it was about 260 bucks for all three of us, plus the GoPro. So we'll, we'll get GoPros. They, are, they will give us GoPros to wear. But we are getting ready to go on. There's no way we could vlog out there, but no. we're gonna There's, try to get as much footage as we can. There is music, like, every 10 feet. This is definitely not the scene for everyone. No. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, there are some questionable it's things happening definitely not on, our scene. on that like, road. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the zip line. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. Let's uh, let's fly down Fremont Street. Have fun with that. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's really high and fast. The, the kids are nervous. Oh, I'm sure. I'm a little nervous. But we'll, we'll do it.